Quick game of housing market fact versus fiction. Fact number one, interest rates have gone up again. FHA rates are back up to about five and a half percent and conventional loan rates are up to about 6%. Fact number two, we've seen an inventory increase by at least 50% in the vast majority of zip codes in our market. Fact number three is that we've seen a 3% to a 5% correction in housing prices in most zip codes. Now, what are the fictional statements or the false statements going around? Number one is that the housing market is going to crash. Yes, some housing markets have been more severely affected than others in the recent correction. However, it's not going to be like we saw in 2008. We've seen some markets come down again, like I said, between three to 5%, which is very common. And we have seen other situations like Boise, Idaho or Austin, Texas that have seen a much more significant reduction. But again, the housing market is not going to have a significant 50% cut or a 30% cut like we saw in 08. The second false statement is that it's just generally a bad time to buy or sell. This is very subjective and depends on your situation. If you're a buyer looking to make your first purchase or make your first investment, well, then it's still a great time to buy because honestly, anything's better than paying rent to a landlord and essentially lighting that money on fire. As a first time buyer, you can come really close to having very little out of pocket with getting a ton of seller concessions back. As far as a seller, if you're looking to upsize, it also depends on where your situation is. If you would like a bigger home and you have a growing family and you want to liquidate your equity so you can put a big down payment on the next property, then it's still a great time to sell. Again, we've seen a small correction, but it doesn't mean that your value has been completely diminished. And the third false statement that I keep hearing is that five to six percent is an awful rate. It's not. It's much higher than we saw during the peak of COVID at two and three percent. However, a five to six percent is historically very strong. Again, 10 years ago, people thought they were getting a steal at eight percent. 10 years ago, many people were getting 12 percent interest rates. So a five to six percent rate is not the end of the world. And you always have the opportunity to refinance in about 12 months or so, according to history. We all expect rates to fall again after the recession has been officially announced. So if you have any questions about how to get pre-approved or if you're looking to get a new value after the recent correction, call me, text me, message me. I'll get right back to you.